When you think of Keralaite food, you think of mutton stew. Mutton stew is a Syrian Christian recipe, but it is so unanimously found across all Keralaite homes that if you've ever had a Keralaite friend, the chances are that you've already eaten this or if you just visit Kerala, I guarantee that at least one breakfast will be mutton stew. So as step one, just take a thick bottomed pan, fill it with water because we're going to boil vegetables. So to this, I'm going to add some vegetables. I've chosen to do carrots, potatoes and beans today, but you can also add cauliflower, peas, anything you like really, some simple stew vegetables. So, I'm just going to add them to the water and I'm just going to let it rest in this so it heats faster. So now for stage 2, what you need is some coconut oil. I'm using a mud pot here because I personally love mud pots but you can use any thick bottomed vessel. Now to this I'm going to add some cinnamon, some cloves and some cardamom. Okay, just let it heat up a little. So once my spices have had a chance to sort of semi-cook in the oil, I'm going to add some ginger, I'm going to add some green chilies and I'm going to add some curry leaves. Just give this a good stir. Okay. To this, now I'm going to add my onions. So I've used about two medium-sized onions for this. Okay. Now just to help the onions cook a little faster, I'm going to add salt. It's um, sort of almost imperative that you use coconut oil for this because that is what really brings about the flavour in a stew. So if you try and substitute coconut oil with anything else, it might just not bring in the same punch. So now my onions are lovely and translucent, so to this I'm going to add some meat. So I've got about 300 grams of mutton meat. And just sort of like mix it in, fold it in with the onions. So. We're going to cook the meat first in the heat of the vessel itself before we add anything over to it. So it's important that you stir it really well. Don't forget to check on your vegetables every now and then because you don't want the vegetables to be a mushy paste. You still want them to retain the shape. So every once in a while just make sure you're checking your vegetables as well. So as you can see like our meat is beginning to change colours, like the rawness of the meat is beginning to go. So just leave this aside for a minute. So I've got some peppercorns here, which I'm going to just slightly coarsely grind, not a very fine powder, but neither like just complete shape of the peppercorns either. Okay, so now I've ground the pepper roughly, so I'm just going to add it to my mutton. Give it a nice mix so that it coats the mutton really well. And to this, now I'm going to add some coconut milk. I'm not adding everything that I have here. I have about 300 ml, but I'm not going to add it all. I'm just going to add a little to cook the mutton in primarily. So now just let it sit for a good 10-15 minutes on a low flame. Just cover it up really well. Okay. So now I'm quickly going to check on my vegetables. They look like they've been done, so just switch it off. I want the vegetables to be 80% done and not completely done because we're going to put them back in with the meat and I want them to sort of cook with the coconut milk as well. So I'm just going to rinse out the water. So now we're just going to quickly open the meat as well. Just give it a good stir. Okay. To this, I'm going to add the vegetables. I'm going to add the rest of the coconut milk. And just mix it. So as you can see, like now it's sort of all beginning to come together and this is how it should be. We're going to leave it on for a good 5-10 minutes more just so that everything, you know, comes together in a really nice way and they all imbibe each other's flavours. Just leave it on low flame. Once you add all the coconut milk, make sure you're never cooking it at really high flame. So as you can see, our stew is done. Like if you just try and break the vegetables, they'll break. I'm also just quickly going to check on the meat. The meat is also done. Okay. That is the most important thing, you don't want to be eating raw meat. 
To this now we're just going to add a bit of coconut oil and I'm going to add some curry leaves and switch off the gas. So our mutton stew is ready. The best way to eat mutton stew is with appams or idlis or dosas. If you enjoyed this video, please do share our video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.